Good morning, my darlings. So this has become my favorite place to start the vlogs. So I've got into a routine of coming up here to get dressed in the morning. So I've just taken my hair out of a bun. <laughs> and it's quite nice to lean my arm <laughs> on this sideboard area while I am starting off the vlog. It's still very echoey in here. I need to get a few more bits and bobs in here today. I'm hopefully gonna sort out the dressing table top and also this little section. The hydrangeas downstairs in front of the fire have dried out more successfully than my blue one which is currently uh, I mean it's successfully dried but it's looking quite shriveled up and I don't know why but still still quite pretty just not perfect it feels very very autumnal today it's just gray skies a little bit of rain every now and then um, so I definitely want to light the fire a little bit later but we have got some very exciting and deliveries scheduled for today we placed a very extravagant and expensive order on a furniture website called George Smith and I think how we found out about them was Charlie was asking everyone at Soho Farmhouse where they get a lot of their furniture from like their little chairs and their sofas obviously a lot of it is Soho home or actually I don't know if it really is aside from like the smaller bits obviously Soho home sell furniture but often they source the furniture in their actual houses from like antique dealers and very luxurious furniture retailers. So basically, long story short, Charlie found out that some of the furniture that we liked at the farmhouse is from a company called George Smith. So we went on their website, it is very <laughs> premium price tags. So we chose wisely and actually they had a sale on um, a couple of weeks ago. So I think we got everything, I think it was actually half price. Still expensive, but we, leapt at that opportunity. So we should have four armchairs arriving today, two for the family room and two for the drawing room. And I'm, I'm especially, especially, especially excited for the ones in the family room because it's just gonna make that window area so perfect to have your morning coffee. Um, we're gonna find a nice table to go between them as well. So you can sit there at the table, do some work, catch up on your emails and look out into the garden. So it's gonna be a huge revelation <laughs> and change in that room. What else is going on today? Um, um, we're, we've actually got the decorator and also the electricians here today. They have already managed to get the chandelier working in the stairway area. So I'll show you that illuminated in a second. And we're also, because now I finally can move everything into this room, we have cleared out the snug. So we're going to get that back to looking gorgeous again. It was such a shame after Haley finished it. We then, we obviously had to return the chairs um, to Alexandra and James, the retailer that loaned them to us for the day. We were going to get them um but we decided in the end that they were just too big and it just caused too much damage to the house <laughs> getting them in and out i still see that scratch on the stairs every day and it really upsets me so we're going to find some smaller chairs maybe from george smith if they do another sale but yeah so we're going to try and sort that room out a little bit more um hopefully oh we've got some new taps <laughs> that have just arrived Goodness me, how exciting my life has become. <laughs> Get excited about taps. But in the downstairs bathroom, I'll show you shortly, basically the sink is this beautiful Burlington sink, but then the old owner put in taps which didn't match. They're not even from Burlington, so they basically didn't go out far enough and you couldn't really get your hands underneath them to wash them so we have got these beautiful gold taps from burlington which i'll show you in a bit um which i'll show you in a second and the plumber's coming hopefully tomorrow or friday to install them so that's going to make a huge difference to the downstairs bathroom now we have my fabulous entrance into the bathroom here you may notice these this one is actually just for show if I'm doing it one-handed, I need to kind of support this door so it doesn't flop open. But this has got a little white knob, which is not quite as obvious. Nothing has changed in here, but I am going to be showing you my mock-up designs for this room. So just a little refresher. What I'm going to call the powder room. I'm going to empty these sinks and tidy this area and take some photos of these and hope that a local plumber might want to purchase all of this old stuff from us. But yeah, I'm going to be drawing up the designs for this room a little bit later. I just love how this background looks. It is so, so, ah, oh, it is literally everything that I wanted in this room. I'm so happy with it. Dreamy. Um, and yeah, I think we've had a delivery this morning as well from the White Company. I ordered another set of bed linen and some robes for the gold 
guest room. So yeah, just a lovely homely autumnal vlog today and I'm gonna start the autumnal-ness by making a lovely cauliflower soup in the Thermomix and Sally from Solstice Wellbeing, who I mentioned before, they, um, Sally and her boyfriend, run massages really close to our house. She's just independent, amazing massages. She posted on her Instagram stories this morning a homemade chai latte recipe. So I think I'm gonna try making that as well. All the cozy vibes. I have come downstairs to find Charlie playing around with a lot of new light fittings. Yes. What's the plan, darling? Right, so if you've watched the YouTube videos of us moving in, you'll know about Philips Hue. Yeah, basically, these are part of the Philips Hue range. Yeah. They are outdoor lights, so they're designed to be outdoors, they're weatherproof. Do you know what? Initially, I thought they were quite modern looking, but actually, when you think about it, they're quite classic. They're metal and they kind of work with the sort of rugged black metal light fittings we've already got outside. Yeah. But the co concept is the house, now it's getting darker in the evenings, we're realising how poorly lit our garden is. Yes. And don't get me wrong, it's nice and cosy to have proper blackness, mm. but similarly from a security point of view, and also in the Looking for the way, dogs. Yeah, and also if we're coming back from, you know, a, an evening out, yeah. you can't see where you're walking. Yeah. So these are some lights that we're going to put around the garden. Mm -hmm. This one is the XL. Okay. And because of this visor on it, I think we've got two of these, I think. I think these are literally tailor-made for up lighting something. Okay. So if you know, so we've got the walnut tree opposite the coach house. I mm -hmm. think as you drive in, that to be lit up would be yeah. magical. Yeah. And then similarly, one or two of these, I think we've... We've only got two of them. In that sort of crevice on this side of the house, you know where the citrus tree is? In the plant pot. That yes. area needs lighting up. That would be lovely. Um, the guys are, the electricians are here today, Gareth and Jack, and they are fitting a load of other things. And they've shown us this as an alternative to having to wire everything in crazy amount. Basically, long story short, this is a, a wireless box. Mm. That, sorry, the wires run from this will have to run under the lawn to all the lights. However, okay. we'll be able to turn them on with this. And then plus the Philips Hue app, we'll be able to set timers up. So the two things combined, I mean, you don't desperately need this, but if you, you know, if you don't- So obviously the Philips Hue ones would need wiring, wouldn't they? They all need wiring in. Right. If we can connect them all to the Wi-Fi. Yes. We, which is an if, because some of them are far from the house, but the ones nearer the house, we can put on timers. Yes. With the app, which okay. is amazing. I'll be honest, there, there will be a couple that probably won't connect to the Wi-Fi, which is why we need this. Yeah? I see. Because our walls are so thick here. So this is the connection yeah. system. Yeah, if, if you put it this way, if you've got this set up in a London home or a slightly smaller property that doesn't have thick stone walls, mm -hmm. you wouldn't need this. Okay. Because you would just be able to set it up via your phone and the app. Yeah. Because of the thickness of the walls, the Wi-Fi doesn't reach all the way over there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm planning for the fact that we might have to use something alongside the app. I see. Unfortunately, Charlie's idea of tidying the snug basically means put all the stuff that is currently being stored in the snug into the hallway so that I start to tidy it. <laughs> I am sadly going to be selling my Hollywood mirror. I think I'm going to list it on a local Facebook group because it just tragically doesn't go with the house. There's probably quite a lot of stuff here that I need to get rid of. But then a lot of stuff which just needs to find a place in my dressing room. So that's another task for this afternoon. So it's just looking pretty empty right now. The electricians have just been popping in some new wiring. I don't know if you've even seen this, but the TV is now up on the wall. And um, we've got this epic Sonos sound bar. I don't know if this is one that we purchased from the retailer or if this is the one that we bought from Victoria in the Fro and Alex, or maybe it was this that we bought from them. Don't know, but this room is hooked up when it comes to sound. I'm glad Charlie knows what all these cables are because I haven't got a clue. Our snug sofa bed is looking absolutely gorgeous. It needs a little bit of plumping and arranging of some really nice cushions, which are all, which are mostly out there. We need to reposition, ooh, that lamp's new. Don't know where he got that. Need to reposition a little table. And then I think in here, yeah, <laughs> we now have a fridge. Charlie said he saw this online on special offer. I didn't even know there was electricity in here. Oh, that must be what the electricians did first thing, popping in that plug. So, um, very extra, but we now have a fridge in the snug room. So if we are 
having guests over to watch a film or something, we can help ourselves to a beverage. I would say that it doesn't need to be on all the time. I'm gonna turn it off. It only needs to be on if we've got people coming around, which we do not. Oh yes. Well, this is truly delicious. It doesn't look that appetizing now. I've got cinnamon all around the edge, but so, so tasty. And that was really, really easy to make. Um, it's still a little bit hot at the moment, but yeah, I added hazelnut milk in to Sally's recipe and it is absolutely scrumptious. So continuing with the very cozy autumnal home vibes, I want to show you a few beautiful new pieces from Senrev, who are very kindly sponsoring this part of the video. I'm so happy to be working with them again. I they have got the most beautiful, they've got the most beautiful bags. You may remember my lovely backpack, which I often wear when I'm traveling, is from Senrev, and also my gorgeous belt bag which i just shared a picture of on my instagram and you guys are absolutely loving it i'll show you a couple of ways of styling this in a second gosh the electricity keeps flickering in here but it's just so lovely to be able to have your hands free and this is such a gorgeous size but senrev now also have the most beautiful home bits they're known for just the most beautiful craftsmanship and quality with their bags really premium fabrics and textures that they use so this is just the most gorgeous high quality leather and similarly okay so i've got a couple of bits to show you let's start with the blanket so the color of this is just absolute perfection it's this gorgeous almondy shade and then you've got this lovely it's a little bit warmer toned in real life i would say to what's showing up on camera this is kind of like a caramelly brown shade all one blanket so this really big sumptuous cashmere blanket senrev have found the absolute top quality cashmere it's obviously humanely harvested from little villages in mongolia let me tell you oh my goodness this is so so soft and cozy i feel like after today when we get our new armchairs and this into the family room it's just going to become the ultimate snuggle fest in there but this is absolutely ginormous in fact let me show you there is nothing worse than a blanket that just doesn't completely cover you up because something like this i want to completely snuggle in <laughs> it's like the size of a double bed. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna see me just wearing this around the house when it gets really chilly, especially now, because this jumper that I'm wearing, although it's absolutely gorgeous and I love at the front, it's got like an open bit at the back and I have to say my back has been getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pop something else on, but for now, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to style this in the family room downstairs. And then to complete the ultimate cozy vibes this autumn winter season and many autumn winter seasons to come, this is also from Senrev and it is quite possibly my favorite thing to wear at the moment. So this is part coat, part cardigan. So they're calling it their coat again. This is 100% cashmere, again, the same, just absolute tip top quality. It's actually from the nomadic goats in Mongolia, which is incredible, 100% cashmere. You can only imagine how gorgeously soft this is. As you can see, it's got these little pockets. To be honest, I would never put anything in these pockets, but a lovely design detail. You may have spotted me styling this actually during my autumn edit. I have already been loving wearing this in slightly more elevated outfits, like with a lovely skirt and a blouse on underneath. But then equally, times like this, when I just want an extra comfy layer on at home, it is just so gorgeous to throw on over the shoulders. It's kind of like wearing your dressing gown, but just so much more elevated and elegant looking. I'm going to pop on an outfit now to show you how beautiful this looks. Do you know what? The lights in this room make all of my knitwear look so see-through. You can literally see the exact outline of my underwear through the camera, but not in real life. I don't understand. <laughs> I also definitely need to get a little mini tripod or a plant pot or something to keep the camera on when I film little try-on clips from this angle because 
having to crouch down is not ideal um, but this is the kind of outfit that I would wear just relaxing at home working from home ideal that it's sleeveless this is obviously just a really nice soft knit top this one is from French Connection um, because if I'm downstairs in the family room and the fire's on or up in the kitchen next to the Aga it gets quite toasty but anywhere else in the house is chilly. If I could, then I would spend the whole day in my dressing gown, <laughs> but in order to look a lot smarter and to be honest, a million times, a million times softer, this is the cashmere coatigan. I honestly think there is no way, I honestly think this is the most elegant you can look while being 10 out of 10 comfortable. I know you guys don't like my dirty <laughs> speckled mirror, but it's a good way of me showing you this um, full length. So as you can see, I've just got my leggings on that I've had all day, so that I've been wearing all day, and then the sleeveless knit top, and then the cashmere coatigan over the top just for those cozy vibes but i feel like it just still looks so elegant i've popped my boots on just as a way of showing you how i could style this if i was heading out of the house you could definitely add a belt to this as well to create a little bit more of a cinched in silhouette my goodness look at that rain it's so miserable so miserable outside but inside okay so i've just popped on my belt this is a lovely one from holland cooper and this is great if you just want to cinch it in around the silhouette i think adding about just makes it a little bit more appropriate if you are heading out of the house i would wear this for meetings still getting all those cozy vibes but i think it looks a little bit more elevated if you wanted to be cozy oh, can you imagine if you were like staying in a ski resort and you're heading out for dinner you could wear a beautiful like chocolatey brown slip dress silk dress and this over your shoulders oh oh my goodness i doubt we'll get to go skiing this year but oh my gosh can you imagine wearing this in like a little alpine lodge so so chic but then equally if you're just working from home it is so elegant i'm absolutely in love with this i feel like i definitely don't need a belt on while i am working from home so i'm gonna pop this off i like that it matches the boots though just draws everything in together oh my goodness this is a match made in heaven so also perfectly matching these boots is the aria belt bag this is the newest accessory to my collection from senrev they pair together so perfectly i'm going to pop a picture on the screen here of when of an outfit that i wore when i wore this belt bag out just for a day exploring our nearest um kind of town i say kind of town it's like a market town it's not very big but this is what i wore on the screen here for that day and it was perfect because i had a coffee in one hand dog lead in the other hand and all of my goodies and all of my bits and bobs were just in here so it's great that i could go hands-free um and also the cardigan is it up there no not sure um the cardigan that i was wearing i just felt that that outfit again needed cinching in around the waist to create a little bit more of a feminine silhouette so it's got lots of benefits for improving your outfit and especially with the coat again i think these go so beautifully together i'm gonna step forward i know you can see the speckles on the mirror but oh, just absolutely gorgeous again if i pop you down here you can see so i like to wear it just slightly off center i think that's the most chic and elegant way to wear it really easy to get in and out of it's got this little magnetic popper so you just pull this down lift the flap up and then you have access inside it does fit the biggest iphone i have swapped over to the samsung um, galaxy flip phone so i don't have any problems fitting that in any of my bags anymore and then you've also got this little envelope section here at the front if you want to keep your debit card or your oyster card or something in there but definitely roomy enough for everything that you need whether it's out for a lunch meeting or even just strolling around your nearby town like I was doing. And I think wear knitwear is such a huge trend this season. Things like this, which you can accessorize your knitwear in a really practical way. And also the helps give you a little bit more of a silhouette, I think is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is made with the most beautiful, high quality leather. This is actually kind of like um, a textured leather. So it's really hard wearing. It's not gonna get scratched very easily. And of course, I went for this very neutral. Let's see where it shows you the light, the color in the best way. Yeah, this lovely brown shade, which obviously goes with all of my <laughs> autumn winter color palette. Okay, I'm gonna swap into some 
very, very cozy boots. Oh my goodness. Because I have got some sorting to do. I need to unpack from the photo shoot. So it's time to get cozy. Excuse the background noise. Charlie is currently finishing off a pesto pasta. <laughs> You're so annoying for our luncheon. By the way, these are the hydrangeas that I was um, mentioning earlier. So, gosh, I get distracted so easily. Uh, these have dried out really nicely and they look so lovely just where they are here. Yes, these ones were from Mike and Lara, weren't they? Yes, and the Beth and Andy ones. Mine's got a bit shriveled. Same weekend. Yeah. Are, um, are looking beautiful, they're in here. Stunning. Yeah, I love this bunch of hydrangeas. I might actually go and buy another bunch for my dressing room purely to dry out because they just look so gorgeous. Anyway, what I was trying to show you before I got distracted by the beautiful hydrangeas is this epic collection of, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, tap tapware, bathroom sink accessories. I never realized sink how- hardware. Sink hardware. Thank you, Jane. All right, well, it sounded very professional. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but basically Burlington, which is the brand of the sink in the downstairs bathroom and the brand of these bits and bobs here, they have got their, I think it's their end of season sale, um, which is incredible. Loads of things are up to 50% off, including accessories, even like sinks, shower enclosure, enclosures, enclosures, radiators, etc., etc. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below because even just changing the taps, um, I'm not actually sure if this is in the sale, but I'm gonna leave a link to their sale down below because even just switching up your taps can make such a difference to your bathroom or if you're doing a whole bathroom renovation, then why not get up to 50% <laughs> off? It's incredible. So these are our new taps and aren't they stunning? We are swapping from silver to gold. Obviously these are the tops of the taps, they just look absolutely stunning and they've got a much longer um, spout, <laughs> is that what you'd call it? A much longer spout for the sink and I'll show you why we need that in a second. I have never seen a plug in its open and exposed form before but this is what a plug looks like. Again we've gone for gold. I'm going to take these into the downstairs bathroom. How nice do they look against the green? I absolutely love <clears throat> Of gold, yeah, it's a very like opulent colour, isn't it? Old, isn't it? Let's go and see how it looks. Nobody wants a bling tap. Ooh, that looks good, darling. So this is the downstairs sink. As I mentioned, the sink is from Burlington. I don't know what brand the taps are, but they're something else. And you can probably see that they just <laughs> don't reach out very far over the sink. So it's quite a faff when you're trying to wash your hands because you have to like crash against the ceramic, which is a real shame. And obviously everything here is silver, whereas we want to replace it with gold. In the camera, they don't look that different in colour, but trust me, they are very different and the gold just makes it look so much more opulent in here. Don't know if you can see that hugely well, but when these are in place, oh yes, I mean, it's not going to be this high, it'll be like that height. But these um, taps are a good like inch longer than the old ones. Do you want to come and see how good this looks, Char? Mm -hmm. And they're so like big and chunky. This is just going to look so lovely. Oh my god! Oh, I made just a million times better. Can you do, can you do it with your hand? They're not going to be this high, obviously. Wow! Like, it's going to be this high. Mm. But how nice is that? They're much, much nicer. They are just stunning. Brilliant. And a gold plug. I mean, even the tap is just so beautiful. That just looks a million times better. I think this is something that people may not even think about doing, but it's just a fairly affordable way of making your sink have a bit of a facelift, especially if you've got a bit bored of silver hardware, if you want to update it for gold or just update a basic tap for something a lot more beautiful. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. I think that is absolutely stunning. Can't wait for the plumber to arrive. <laughs> we have just taken delivery of our new George Smith furniture. Let me show you the one that Charlie is, actually the one that you are in, the lighting is a little bit better. These are the chairs that I fell in love with that were the reason we discovered George Smith. Yes. Because they, they have these at Soho House mm -hmm. in a different sort of more farmhousey fabric. This lighting is a nightmare. The manager at Sir House where they got them and he said George Smith. Uh-huh. 
And then, yeah, oh! it's worth mentioning, we got these in the sale, didn't we? Yeah, I said they were 50% off, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, because they are, they're seriously expensive sofas, but I'll be honest, <laughs> I haven't, and I'm not just, well, we're not promoting them around, we've purchased the stuff. <laughs> they are the comfiest and best quality armchairs so that I've ever seen. I've not sat in it yet. Feel the, feel Excuse me, young man. And the upholstery. And apparently the wood, the guy was saying that delivers, it actually arrives as bits of tree. <laughs> Look. Did you hear me? Yeah, arrives as bits of tree. That's crazy. Yeah. What, like these bits down here? Yeah, he says the wood actually, it's not, you know, the wood actually <laughs> arrives as trees. And That's then amazing. They plain, they plain <laughs> Can you I let mummy you sit down? <laughs> oh, that is comfy. Because your body's like cocooned into the chair. Brilliant. And they're the perfect height in here. Do you know what I'm going to say? What? They're nearly perfect for the snuck as well. Yeah, they we are. can't afford to do that. Though. No, not But really. they're, maybe we'll just have, maybe we'll just wait in the snug and just wait until we can afford rather than yeah. get the wrong ones. Yeah. But they're just brilliant, aren't they? They are gorgeous. And it makes this room so much more sociable. It does. Yeah, we I need think it. This lets, I honestly think this bothers me now, this fabric. Obviously, I, I think people that watch your vlogs know that this was not a fabric we chose. Yeah. And we are going to re-upholster you. We'll use the same cushion. Yeah, definitely. Um, Just find a new fabric to reupholster. I almost feel like removing this for the time being because it really clashes with the armchairs. It does a little bit, but I think it looks so much better with something on it. I'm not sure. Mm. Look at the small. Why are you so desperate to get on your mummy's lap? I just really want to try the new armchair on it. Come on then. And then I have to say these chairs in the drawing room are an absolute triumph. I feel like the colour just blends in here so, so well. There are some really lovely cushions on Soho Home that we've seen. And actually, these legs are quite similar to the legs on the sofa, on sofas, um, sofas and stuff that we've really fallen in love with. But these are the most gorgeous, like, rich ochre amber colour. Absolutely stunning. Don't they look gorgeous in here? Obviously, this one, you can see the old furniture, so it doesn't look quite as satisfying in this corner. But... So, so cozy by the fire, oh my goodness. And then this is the fabric swatch that we've got for the sofa, which hopefully we're gonna order in the next couple of days. Quite hard to show you because that light looks really blue. Um, quite hard to pick up the real color. But yeah, I think that is gonna be absolutely perfect. So I have something else pretty exciting to show you. No, it's not our bathtub, it is this very dark, ominous <laughs> looking room here. Dun, dun, dun. So Charlie's dressing room is finally done. As you can see, he's not moved in yet. The painter literally left about an hour ago. We had a little bit of trouble with the paint originally. So we had our usual painter, Andrew, come and rescue it. And now Charlie's happy and it looks absolutely stunning. So this is Charlie's wardrobe slash shoe room half of the space is really shoe shelves and i would say the other half is clothing storage oh my goodness my camera is finding it pretty hard to focus in here you can see that we've had to go for a glossy finish a kind of glossy finish on the paint um charlie originally wanted matte but it just marked quite badly even if you just you know pop popped your hand on the door to close it it would mark, but Andrew managed to find a good paint, which now just looks absolutely beautiful. So on this side, he's got his shoe shelves. We're getting a cushion seat here so he can pop his little bottom down when he puts his shoes on. Um, the walls have been painted. I can't remember the shade. I know it's from Graham and Brown, so I'll leave it on the screen. And then he's got this little shoe shelf area here. Lots of the, of course, we've kept all the original features of the house as lovely display areas. He's got a drawer under there. Can't remember if you've seen any of this in the building stages. Ooh, that needs tightening. But he's gone for the gold rails like I did. The beautiful strip light inside. And then he's got his lovely big glasses drawer. These drawers are really lovely. Very sleek for all his workout gear, loungewear, t-shirts, things like that. And then he's got a few mirrored sections. Double hanging in here. He got these 
fancy hangers from John Lewis, I think. They are really nice. Looks like a lovely boutique hanging space. And again, double hanging, plenty of hanging space. And then this is a concertina door. Oh. More shoe storage. And then he has um, actually changed this handle into a really lovely brassy bronze handle. I might actually do the same because mine is silver in mine. And then he's got, oh, this epic long hanging space here which i think he's going to use for his blazers and that makes the most of the really deep hole in the wall if you remember that we think it might have been a priest hole or something so there we go i think he's going to start filling it up tonight at least his shoe section because yeah his clothes like mine had done in the past are currently taking up a lot of rooms in the house and he's got a lovely view same very similar view as we have in our bathroom so you can see across to the fields such a gorgeous view it is just amazing how much this room has been transformed i cannot believe how dark it is getting outside already it is only 20 past five and yet it is so gloomy it looks quite light out here <laughs> but the rooms look very dark and cozy i've got a couple of pillowcases drying on the end of the bed so that is not something i need to show you um but here i have unboxed our white company pieces oh my goodness so i wanted to add a couple of touches in here because as i have mentioned this house may get quite chilly in the winter um so i just wanted this room in particular which is going to be our main guest room to have super cozy vibes so I've got this beautiful faux fur and it's like this minky shade hot water bottle cover and matching throw. And then we actually got this bed linen for our flat in Chiswick um, and I loved it so much. I <laughs> wanted to get some for this room as well because currently we only have one set of bed linen. This is pretty old from John Lewis. It's definitely still absolutely fine, but I thought it'd be nice to have another set in circulation. So we've gone for the scallop edged ones. You can see they have this really beautiful scallop detail around the pillowcases and even around um, the edge of the duvet. So once I've finished doing a little bit more tidying up upstairs, because I've got all the stuff from the snug to pop away, I'm gonna come and remake this bed. And then also, these are actually for Charlie and I, not so much for our guests, but it's nice when you get out of the shower to have a toweling robe as opposed to your normal dressing gown. Sometimes I feel like my normal dressing gown, you know, I wear it for a couple of hours before going to bed, I kiss the dogs in it, whereas after a shower or a bath, you want something really nice and fresh and clean. So we've got a couple of these gorgeous dressing gowns. They've got like a not a particularly long fleecy lining, but like a nice soft fleecy lining and then this waffle finish on the outside. So these are going to live on the back of our bathroom door. I am gonna be remaking this bed later, so I've not done this particularly neatly, but oh my goodness, <laughs> this is so soft. I feel like I'm gonna want this in our bedroom <laughs> instead of in the guest bedroom, but this is just exactly the vibe I was going for. I want people to just feel so comfy and cozy and snuggly, like they're staying in a, a nice boutique hotel when they stay here. Um, and then just having the matching hot water bottle. So lovely and it is so soft. I definitely think I'm gonna be stealing this. I've got the white version from last year, which um, I'm actually gonna be using tonight, gonna to make myself a nice bath. But yeah, if I was a guest and I was given a silky soft hot water bottle like this, I would be a very happy bunny. My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna <laughs> Whoa, that is crazy lighting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've just been helping Charlie bring some of his shoes into his wardrobe area. They are looking very, very smart in the shelves. He's got his Chelsea boot collection, suede boots down here, suede Chelsea boots, and then I think these are more um, smarter boots, but then also some walking lace-up boots. I don't know, but I'm sure there is a method to his madness. There is still a heck of a lot on the floor. I've just been carrying them in from the other um, 
from the what we're going to call the office room and then he's got some trainers down there so yes still lots to go but we are going to stop now and start making our dinner so i'm actually going to end the vlog here darlings because you know what happens after we have dinner we just get very tired and then fall asleep so i really hope you enjoyed today's video a little bit of a house update for you there's going to be a lot more coming as we start to get the house a little bit more cozy and ready for autumn but yeah hope you enjoyed today's video everything that i've mentioned i will leave linked down below as always and i'll see you tomorrow for another one Good night.